Hello everyone, welcome to CodeSunder.com. If you are new to my channel, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification. And you can also follow me on a Facebook, links on the description. And this video is sponsored by MyTeamWorks.com. In the last video, we have created a simple product listing page and we pass the data like a, only any particular data to the next page okay so this video we are going to pass the entire object to the next page okay so to do that so i'm going to home.page.html so here i'm going to come on this okay. so when the user click this particular button i need to navigate okay so navigate or go to detail page. So when the user click this particular uh, uh, button, I'm going to next page, okay? Also, I need to pass the entire object. So currently the P is an entire object. It contains a product information such as the ID, title, uh, price, something like that. So I'm just uh, need to rewrite the function, go, go to detail. So go to detail, go to detail, so to pass the data still we need a uh, router object from my angular router, so this dot router dot navigate, so navigate by URL you cannot pass this okay. So only with the navigate you can pass the entire object. So here detail and uh, here inside the query params you need to pass your object, okay? So like whatever uh, you are getting from the go detail object, okay? So P. So it's going to be a product, okay? It's a user defined, okay? So query params, it will contain an object, okay? So product, okay? So literally how it will work? So it should be an object, something like this. Name, something, price, or whatever you want to pass to the next page, okay? So this is just for sample, okay? So we already, since we already have an object, since we already have an object, so we can directly pass the product object to the next page, okay? So this is for a learning purpose. So, we need to receive this product information inside the detail page. So here, we still need a activated route, okay? So we have a product ID. So now we have a product object, okay? So initially it's going to be an empty object. Okay, so let's make a response here and see what, what it is showing here. Okay, so let me save the file. Okay, so when the user click this uh, iPhone, here you can see we are receiving this particular object on a detail page. Okay, so we are say we are getting an entire object, we can directly assign that. Uh, response to the product okay so using this product we can display here so product as an object so product dot id okay so let's see the result so now you can see we can able to pass the data from one page to another page okay let's see the output on a device okay so Detail is going here and for an uh, iOS. So here you can see. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, you can get the source code links on the description. And if you want to learn more about Ionic, visit codesunder.com slash Ionic tutorial. Uh, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification. And finally, this video is sponsored by mytheambox.com. Uh, where you can get to Ionic themes and starters. And uh, if you want any training, uh, like a one-to-one -one training, we are, we still offer that. You just visit uh, coachinthe.com slash training. Hey guys, see you on next video.